how easy life would be with chips in our necks that can control our houses. Okay, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Just think about it. When you get home, you think about turning on the lights. It does. Or, or if you're really cold and the house warms it up for you. What if something goes wrong? Like, what if the house makes your brain explode? <laughs> or something. <laughs> Cass is right. It can be dangerous, and also we don't have the right type of for that. Yet. Not yet, we don't. And don't call me in 2015 when you do. <laughs> me either. And stop rewatching Back to the Future. Okay, okay. Danielle, what is it? Nothing. I just got some new vacation. Well, anyways, I've got some news. What, what? is it? I think Cody might like me back. This again? Did he say well, in homeroom, he came up to me and he said he liked my hair. Wow, he must be in love with you. And in the hallways, he keeps staring at me. Maybe because you were staring at him, he must have been weirded out. Stop being a buzzkill, Aaron. I see him looking at Gas too. Really? <laughs> yeah. He better ask him to his Well, I was thinking I could ask him. Really? On Tuesday. That's awesome! You're gonna ask him to the dance on a hunch? I mean, it's just a spring formal, it's no big deal, and if he says yes, then we'll just be getting to know each other. Okay, if you want to embarrass yourself, be my guest. The only person making an embarrassing is you, Aaron. Well, it's pathetic that you think he might like you after just a compliment and a couple of stairs. What does he already have to say? He doesn't. I should have brought this up around you. Danny, what do you think? Danny? <laughs> Psychic. Okay, that's random. I know, but it's been keeping me up all night and I needed to tell someone. All right, I'm listening. Remember when I said I was having deja vu at the picnic yesterday? Sure. Well, I had a dream the night before that I was at the park with you and Cassie and I saw a yellow bike and a butterfly kite. So? I saw a yellow bike and a butterfly kite at the park yesterday. What, so you think you can see the future or something? Yes. I thought you'd be more interested. It is interesting. Has this happened before last night? No. Then maybe it's just a one-time thing or your brain made it up. Maybe. Now, take a nap. You look horrible. You didn't think I'd figure out that you asked Cody to the dance? Like I'd ask Cody to a stupid spring formal. I don't even like him. Oh, as if. Dana and I saw how mad you got when I said I was going to ask him. Well, you should have asked him earlier if you wanted to go with him that badly. And you said yourself the dance wouldn't be a big deal. You are so aggravating. Okay, then sue me for it. <gasps> this is beyond ridiculous. I mean, you did slap her. Yeah, but she's the one who should be suspended. It was all her fault. Sure, it was her fault. But you didn't have to slap her for it, Cass. Whose side are you even on? I'm on yours. What Aaron did, it wasn't cool. But now she gets the satisfaction of getting away with it and seeing you miserable. Did you see her face after I hit her? She was almost smiling. Then started crying out of nowhere. She's insane. Totally. Okay, I gotta go. My minutes are running low. Talk to you later. Yeah. Good night. Night.
I called you cold. I had the most terrifying dream. What's up? 